ان ابراہیم کان امت قان تن اللہ حدیفہ و لم یقین المشرقین ویرلی شورلی ابراہیم علا نبی نام علیہ صبرات وسلام واض الامہ وڈ مین اے لیڈر اے ماڈل فار ہول ہیومینٹی اما یومو مینس ٹو ایم سم تھنگ اینڈ فرام دس از امام سو ہیئر دس ورڈ امہ از یوز ان پلیس آف امام ان جائل کل انا سے امام دیٹ واز دی پرومس گیون ٹو ابراہیم علیہ صلاۃ وسلام اینڈ وی ہیو اٹ ان دی فرسٹ پارٹ آف قرآن ان دی ففٹین سیکشن آف سورت البقرہ ان جائل کل انا سے امام سو ہیئر دس ورڈ از یوز ان پلیس آف امام ان ابراہیم کان امت القان تن اللہ ہی واز دی امام دی لیڈر اے ماڈل فار دی ہیومینٹی اوبیڈین ٹو اللہ حنیف اپرائٹ مین آف پیور فیتھ ولم یقین المشرقین اینڈ ہی واز ناٹ فرام دوز ہو اسائن پارٹنرس اینڈ ایکولس ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالی شاکر الانعم ہی ہی واز گریٹ فل اینڈ تھینک فل ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالی فار ہز بلیسنگس اجتباء ہو اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہے سلیکٹڈ ہم چوزن ہم وحدا ہو الا صراط مستقیم And had guided, guided him to the right path, straight path. And we gave him in this world also good blessings. And verily, surely, in the hereafter, he will be from among our righteous people. Then after him, we have revealed to you We have sent down the revelation to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Anittame millata Ibrahim ha-hanifa. That you should follow the creed of Ibrahim. Who was upright and of pure faith. Wa ma kana minal mushrikeen. And he was not one of the associators. Inna ma ju'ila sabtu ala allazeen akhtalafu feeh. The sabbat was only appointed for those who differed concerning it. Actually, for them also, Friday was prescribed. This was given in a, in a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. But by, due to their mischief, they disliked Friday and they adopted Sabbath, Saturday. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, okay, it is fixed for you now. In the majority of Sabto, the Saturday was fixed for those people who had differed regarding it. وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَا يَحْكُمُ بَأَنَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فِي مَا كَانُوا فِي يَخْتَلِفُونَ And surely your Lord will judge between them on the day of judgment in all the matters in which they were differing. اُدْعُوا إِلَىٰ سَبِيلِ رَبِّكَ بِالْحِكْمَةِ وَالْمَعْرِزَةِ الْحَسَمَةِ وَجَادِلٌ بِالَّتِي أَحْسَنِ Now these last four ayat are very profound, very important. Addressing directly Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and his companions, his followers. آیا 125 اگین آئی ہیو ٹو سی دی سیم ورڈس ویری پروفاؤنڈ اٹ گیوز اس تھری لیولز آف داوا کالنگ ٹوورڈس اللہ کالنگ ٹوورڈس دی اسٹریٹ پاتھ کالنگ ٹوورڈس دی ریلیجن آف اللہ دین آف اللہ دس کالنگ ہیز ٹو بی آن ون آف دی تھری لیولس نمبر ون لیول آف دی انٹیلیجنسیا دی انٹلیکچوئل مائنورٹی یو کانٹ امپریس دیم بائی سرمنس No, they need arguments. So first of all, highest level of da'wah is with hikmah. Udur ila sabili rabbika. Call towards the path of your Lord with wisdom, with knowledge, with arguments. Because when Quran asks others, Hatu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqeen. Bring forth your arguments if you are true. Then others have also the right to demand arguments. So this is the highest level of the intelligentsia or the intellectual minority. Then come the level of the common people whose minds are like clean slates. You can write on it. They don't have any philosophies in their mind. They don't know what is Marxism and what is existentialism and what is logical positivism, nothing of the sort. So you can approach their hearts directly. And to approach their hearts directly, good sermon. Ma'izatil Hasana. This is the second level. It, if it comes from your heart, 
it will descend on the heart of the person to whom you are calling as dil khizat bar dil rezat only you have to be sincere whatever you say you say out of sincerity not that you want to you want to impose yourself upon that person to show him you are inferior and i am superior no 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 out of sincerity and out of humility you call them towards the deen of allah so this good sermon will do in the case of common people number third level majadil hum billati ahsan there are some people who are paid for taking people astray the missionaries of the christians they are paid for it the muballighin of qadianis they are paid for it the muballighin of bahais they are paid for it they are not going to listen to any sermon nor are they ready to le- to listen to any arguments there you have to fight with them quarrel with them argue with them this is called mujadala from jadl jadl means fighting but verbal fighting munazara munazara mubahala as this word came in surah al imran so this level also third level you have to argue with them and defeat them in their arguments but here also your attitude should be very good not bad you shouldn't call names you should retain a level a moral level wajadil hum billati ahsan even you have you have to argue against them but it should be in a very very good way beautiful way in rabbaka huwa a'lamu bi man dalla an sabilihi surely your lord very well knows who has gone astray from his path wa huwa a'lamu bil muhtadin and he knows very well those who are rightly guided fain aqamtum but if you have to take revenge now if your opponents are calling names to you they are persecuting you doing some harm to you and now if you decide that you have to take revenge in aqabtum fa aqibu bi misli ma uqibtum bi then punish them only with the like of that with their with which they were afflicted you were afflicted this much so that much only can you afflict them not more than that so you have to be equal whatever harm they did to you you can take the revenge to that extent but not more fain aqabtum fa aqibu bi misli ma uqibtum bi wala in sabartum na huwa khairul lil sabirin but if you endure patiently don't take revenge because you know this is a makki sura during the makki period this was the order of the day for all the 12 long years that all muslims no retaliation from your side take all the persecution patiently whether it is verbal persecution or it is physical persecution but you are not relate to retaliate no retaliation whatsoever so that is also given here well in sabartum if you take it patiently pocket it and don't take revenge law khairul lis sabirin it is much better than for those who persevere and who endure patiently wasbir wa ma sabruka illa billah and endure you also o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wasbir wa ma sabruka illa billah and your patience is only from allah subhanahu wa taala due to his support because you have put your trust in him wala tahzan alaihim and don't grieve on them because now they are doomed now that you have taken about 12 years in calling them to the right path to tawhid of allah subhanahu wa taala and they have rejected you so allah's chastisement will come to them but then you should not grieve over it because they, they are your kith and kin they are your own tribe you belong to quraish you are a qarshi they are your kith and kin and your relatives but don't grieve on them wala takufi zaqim mimma yamkurun and also don't be straightened in your hearts and chest due to what they are conspiring they are conspiring against you they are plotting against you they are having mutual consultations that we should kill muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we should murder him all these things they are doing 
بٹ یو ڈونٹ تھنک دیٹ دے کین ڈو اینی تھنگ سو بڑا تک اس فیزا کی مما یم کرون واٹ ایور پلاٹنگ دے آر ڈوئنگ واٹ ایور کانسپریشن کانسپریسیز دے آر ہیچنگ دے ول ڈو نو ہارم ٹو یو بڑا تک فیزا کی مما یم کرون ڈونٹ بی ویری فیئر فل آف دیز تھنگس ان اللہ معلزین تخ ویری لی اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ از ود دوز پیپل ہو ہیو دی فیئر آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ دی ڈیو ریگارڈ آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ و لذیر ہم محسنون اینڈ ہو آر ایکسلنٹ ان ورشپ اینڈ سروس آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ اللہ از ود یو سو یو ہیو یو نیڈ ناٹ وری لیٹ دیم کانسپائر لیٹ دیم پلاٹ لیٹ دیم میک اسکیمس ڈونٹ وری بیکاز اللہ از ود یو And this was the word that the Prophet said to Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ when they were both hiding in that cave of Thor and people had just reached, you know, at the mouth of that cave. And Abu Bakr said رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ only if they cast their eyes towards their own feet they will see us. What was the answer? لا تحزن إن اللہ معنا Don't grieve. Allah is verily Allah is with us. So this is it. In Allah ma'al ladhina taqaw wa ladhina hum muhsinun. Let them conspire, let them plot whatever they want, what intrigues they want to do. You don't worry. We are with you. 